Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with Day Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for another Ghost Recon Wildlands video and today is upload number three here and we're going to be talking about a new easter egg that they added in the patch update five. Um, back when we got the patch update four, we actually had in the patch notes is when they revealed the fact that um, there was something lurking in the mountains which kind of let everybody on the Yeti easter egg hunt and you know we got to find some really cool things and in patch update five today, they kind of did something similar to that and in in the audio section of the patch updates they said there was an unusual noise was heard near a ruined hut so there is actually a ruined hut in the libertad region and there has been some speculation around this being an easter egg of these witches and witchcraft and all sorts of stuff it's kind of what you're seeing here i'm actually going to play the audio from that real quick guys and then i will be right back So you can't tell me that that doesn't sound creepy, you know, it just, it's, it sort of sounds like spirits or the whole essence of, you know, witchcraft and everything like that. And there has been a couple other findings and there's in this, in this village that's right outside of here, there's a bunch of like llama um, fetuses and they're actually used to kind of ward off, you know, evil spirits and stuff like that. And then, like you said, you got this little statue here with the pig head on top and all the skulls and bones and stuff like that. And there's honestly, there is going to be probably in the finale of season two, um, there's going to be some sort of a hunt or an Easter egg hunt for this, whatever this is. Uh, but we don't really have a whole lot of information on it. I know Carbon Meister, um, he's another YouTuber that does a lot of Ghost Recon and stuff. He does a lot of Easter egg stuff. I really don't have the time to put in, you know, to, to, to track down all this stuff. Um, but there was a couple things you could find. Um, in this open world, you know, or whatever that kind of hints at these. So the first thing being is down here in uh, the actual village of here, you can see this llama that's hanging on the wall here and you walk up to it and you activate it and it basically kind of gives you a little bit of a backstory about, you know, they hang these dead llama fetuses around to kind of, you know, keep uh, evil spirits and, you know, evil and stuff like that away. Um, and that's just one of the little clickable items. I don't know. I, I clicked it. I went back up to the hut, never really got anywhere with it. It didn't really trigger anything. And then also if you guys look on the map here and you scroll over down here to this little tiny shack that's called Oso. If you go to Oso, it's actually um, what they would consider like a marketplace for witchcraft. Like the witches used to buy stuff there and all this stuff. And if you kind of go down in this little section here, you will actually find one of the other um, conspiracy files, the uh, Kingslayer files. And I'll actually pop up the Kingslayer file that you find at that little place there. And it's basically called the Witch's Market. And you guys, I'll just leave it up on screen here for a sec. And if you guys want to go find this as well, this was the only other thing that I was actually able to find in the open world that kind of specified, you know, some, some nods or something to witchcraft. So, and then the other, there was actually a legend, um, another legend that was actually in the marketplace just down from where we found that llama hanging on the wall, which I'm going to pop that one up on screen here real quick. And it was, um, the Bolivian witchcraft. And this kind of hints at, you know, the three witches, um, and the common in Bolivia where they're traditionally considered as go-betweens, uh, between men and gods and that sort of thing. So honestly, I'm assuming at the end of season three here, we are going to be getting a big, um, Easter egg hunt similar to El Yeti and uh, honestly I, I will try to cover it guys but uh, I don't really have as much time to track down all the Easter eggs and stuff like that but I will probably try to give it a shot and try to cover this but that's pretty much all for the video guys I just want to touch base on that let you guys know if you guys missed it in the patch notes them stating that there actually was um, an unusual noise was heard near a ruined hut, which is kind of going to be leading towards the season two finale when we're probably going to be getting another Easter egg hunt for Ghost Recon Wildlands. But that's pretty much all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.